Before I can attach the blades to the, to the hub, I have to do a little bit of work on them. On the back side, first we need to remove that little tab. If you already haven't done so, go ahead and pop it out. You can use a hobby knife for that. I got four blades. I only need three, but I'll go ahead and do them all just in case. As I said before, um, sometimes having an extra blade means you can repair the rocket if it becomes damaged. So those are out and in your materials you would find this mesh and we need to cut a piece and this will be glued to the balsa wood and it reinforces the wood so that it can't split. Um, that's the worst case situation is where it splits and then it, and it would pull away from the hub. Um, so this, this mesh will reinforce that area and, and reinforce the balsa wood. And you can see I have it going just past the slot and I want to cut it off just where it overhangs the rocket. So that's the length that I want. And I'm going to need at least three of them. The length is not too critical, just so it goes past that slot. And I'm going to cover my work table with a piece of plastic. And this is going to be pressed down on the, on the balsa wood and then glued into place. And you'll notice they're right here that's overhanging the edge. So I'm just going to radius that one little corner where you could chamfer it too. So this thing goes really quick. All right, so now I'll cover my table. And I'm going to be using thin CA, so I'm going to want my goggles. And I like to press it down first. Press it down so it conforms to the curvature. And, and then I just drop a single drop of CA on it. And you see how it wicks out real easy. I'm going to blot up any excess glue because that's just extra weight. So that's how we're going to do it. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other three um, and then let these dry. And I need to let my eyes get adjusted to the fumes too. I need to open the door. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then let this harden a little bit and then we'll be right back. Our next step is to clean out the slots of the mesh. Um, if you squeegeed off a lot of the super glue, this should go pretty easy. But if you left it on pretty thick, now you're cutting through uh, super glue and not just the mesh. So you just take a sharp hobby knife and you're going to scrape along all of the edges around the perimeter of that slot. So you got to get both sides and the ends. And you can test the fit by taking one of the blade supports and sliding it through the slot. And if it's tight, then you got to go back and scrape a little bit more. But this has to be able to slide through it just like that. That one's a little bit tight, but it will work. And then after that, um, I want to sand the surface of the blade to smooth it out. And I've got some 
um, just some light grit or a fine grit sandpaper. And I want to use the uh, PVC pipe that we use to curve it to support it while we sand it. And this doesn't take a lot. You just sand it uh, pretty quickly. You're just taking down the high spots, reducing a little bit of the drag. And we're going to do this to all the rotor blades. Okay, this is where we're going to attach the rotors to the hub. And you see that this wide area right here in the back before the little tab? That part is going to slide through the slot. So I'll just kind of poke it through and then rotate it down. See, I want to get it all the way to the end before I start rotating. Rotate it down and you'll see that the little, um, this I call the rubber band hook. That pops through and I need, now we can just glue it down. So I want to press down with my finger to make sure that it's flat up against this flat part, this part right here. Make sure that's flat so that this is perpendicular to the wood. And then I'm just going to touch it with just a drop of super glue right there. And I don't want to use too much because if it gets over here, it's going to get into the hinge and I don't want that. And you can see that the super glue kind of wicked through the wood itself. That's fine. Just peel your finger off. <laughs> um, and it left a little bit of skin there. Now well, it's not really skin, it's part of the super glue. Just sand that smooth. Now that little hook is important because that's for the rubber band. The rubber band is going to hook on that. And that's what causes the blade to come up. I'll do another one here. Slide it through. Get it down. Okay. Our next step will be to balance this, and I'll go do that in the next video.